The extended lunchtime event raises much needed funds for Drug Arms, Guide Dogs Queensland and the Lord Mayor's Trust. Well this is the third of the uh, Brisbane City Big Barbecues and it's got bigger every year so Council supported it from the beginning. For $8, business workers came down and enjoyed the entertainment and food, served specially to them by the head of the Lord Mayor's Trust, the Mayoress, Lisa Newman. Since its introduction in 2006, the event has been a success in helping the chosen charities along. It's also helping to bring the business community together and out of their offices. But there's growing concern that the current financial crisis will stop people being so willing to reach into their pockets. Also, you know, when, when people are affected financially, they don't have as much to, uh, to share uh, with, um, you know, community charities. Despite the concern, hundreds still turned out to see the live entertainment, including one of the finalists from the TV show, Australia's Got Talent, the dance group Shift One, and last year ARIA nominees, The Small Mercies. The now three-year-old charity event was taken from a concept developed in Canada, where local businesses joined together to hold a barbecue in support of local charities. The event raised more than $60,000 a year so far. Organisers are hoping to beat that figure this year. Suzanne Ross, QUT News.